One thing I love about pet rats is how much personality they hold in their tiny little potato bodies. Every rat comes with their own set of individual characteristics and behaviors, and honestly, their brains are more developed than most politicians are. My three girls themselves have more personality in their pinky toe than Mitch McConnell has in his entire body, and that made me realize something. I've never actually made a video where I introduce each one of my chaos potatoes individually. No wonder you guys are getting their names wrong all the time. And honestly, how dare I not introduce them, because these beautiful little fluff beans deserve to be recognized individually as the queens that they are. So let's get into it. Rich, we're rich, we're the rich. This is Cape. She was being sold as a feeder rat at one of my local pet stores when I rescued her on June 22nd, 2021. She was probably born sometime in April or May of that same year, so she is my oldest. She is an albino fancy rat or a pew rat and is blinder than a freaking bat. And before you ask how I know she's blind, I did get her tested at the vet and this hoe has never once reacted to light in her life. Also, there's this. Go crazy! Ah, 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 go stupid! Ah! Go crazy! Go stupid! Ah, 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 go crazy! Yeah! So yeah, I can assure you that she's blind. And no, not all rats that have red eyes are blind. They do have worse eyesight than other rats, but Cape just happens to be fully blind. Cape is also my smartest potato. She's curious about everything, loves to explore, and takes two hour long naps every 30 minutes. She likes ping pong balls, pea fishing, and absolutely bodying sin. She's the alpha of the pack, so she keeps the others in line, eats a lot of food, and doesn't take shit from anyone. Just regular girl boss things. She's also my little cuddler and loves to hang out on my shoulder and give kisses. She is my heart rat. We pray at night. We stop at night. We're the rat. Next up is the absolute bane of my existence, Sin. I rescued her from the same pet store as Cape on July 20th, 2021, and she was probably born in May or June of the same year. She is a dark brown hooded fancy rat with one brain cell, and she is the most adventurous of the pack. She also thinks she's a pigeon. We're breaking We're free! Her other hobbies include trying to escape the playpen, committing tax fraud, threatening violence, and spending lots of time in the timeout cage. She's also the easiest one to train when it comes to learning new tricks, and she's Cape's seeing eye bestie. She's the most empathetic and emotional rat I've ever seen, and is basically the animal equivalent of a human toddler. When I first got her, I actually thought she was hurt or sick or something because she squeaks so often, but now I know that she's just vocal as hell and the sassiest rat I've ever had. She has so much personality that it honestly kind of scares me, but half the time she also looks like there's not a single thought behind those big ol' eyes. She's the literal spawn of Satan, but I love her so much. Rich, we're rich, we're the rich. And last but not least, this is Cyclone. She's a Champagne Berkshire fancy rat and she's the newest addition to the mischief. She was born just a handful of months ago on July 6th and she came home with me on August 9th. Because she's new to the pack and still so young, her personality is still growing and changing every day, but she already does have some traits that set her apart from Cape and Sin. For starters, she very much lives up to her name. Even for a young female rat, she's super energetic and playful, much more than other female rats that I've had. She's fast as hell, mischievous, and loves tummy tickles. In the pack hierarchy, she's already displayed dominance over Sin and can absolutely body her even though she's half her size. Cyclone constantly goes out of her way to pester her and loves to play chase with her. Even though she's mischievous, she also recognizes Cape as the alpha and tends to leave her alone most of the time, but they do enjoy cuddling together during naps. I'm excited to see how Cyclone's personality will develop as she gets older, and hopefully you guys are too. We pray at night, we stop at night, we're the rest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked learning a little bit more about my girls and their chaos potato-ness. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Bye! And ratty kisses to you all!